Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add a Google Reviews widget to your Elementor website with a free plugin. You'll be able to connect it to your Google Business account so when customers leave reviews it's going to appear on your website. And I'll also show you how to style it. It's got dozens of options that you can configure so you can get it exactly how you want it to look. If you're adding Google Business to your website I'm going to assume that you've already got your Google Business page set up and the Google account. Let's go. First we want to go into Plugins, Add New. In the search, search for reviews and rating, Google My Business. And we're looking for the one by Noah Hurley from Design Extreme. Install now. Activate. Next, we've got to get our Google API key. So what we want to do is go onto this link here, press the API key, then go down, go to the Google's credentials page. And if it's showing you any projects, don't worry about that. Just click on keys and credentials one more time. And then what we need to do is create credentials, API key, copy this key and store it somewhere safe. We'll see it just creates a number which isn't very useful if you've got lots of sites. So I'm just going to click on this and name it the name of the website you're adding the review of or the business name. And if you want, you can also restrict this key. So it's only going to work on that website. So no one else can use it and use your API. Click on websites and to restrict it to your website only, press add. And we'll see that when I click on this, it's star dot, then your website URL without the HTTPS. Put in the star dot forward slash at the end, then another star done. And then make sure you save. Now we can see there's our new API key that we just created. And if you need to copy the key, you can just press show key and copy it. Now what we want to do is go into our plugin where it says Google API key, paste in there, go to Google's place ID finder, scroll down and we're looking for the map. And basically what you want to do is enter your business name in here. So I'm looking for the business name. I found it. It's there. And then copy this place ID and copy that bit of code there. Go back to the website, paste in the place ID. You can put your preferred language, update frequency. I would set this to synchronize daily, recommended. Then press save changes. It can take around five minutes for the API key to work. So don't worry if it doesn't work straight away. For theme, I would recommend starting off with four columns. Light background with fonts works pretty good. So this is a good place to start. Review limit, I'm going to start mine with three reviews. Carousel view, you leave that blank. And then date descending, so I've always got my newest ones first. So I've got new to old. Rating range, this is where you can pick which rating. So I only want to show my five star rating, so five star to five star. And I think I'll leave everything else as is. Scroll down to the bottom. Save changes. Now what we want to do is go to short codes. What I'm going to do is copy Google reviews, the basic one. There's loads of options here. Press copy. Go to our pages. Find our home page. Edit with Elementor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add above here. I'm going to add a reviews widget. We'll just open up a new section, press the plus, and then we're going to search for short code. Drag in the short code into the widget space, paste our review code in here. And you can see your reviews have appeared. Press update. If you want to change the look and style, just go into settings, reviews and rating of my business, and then go into the setup. And here you can change all the theme settings. So it's up to you to play around with it. And it's got a preview on the right hand side. So you can see all the different settings and how they look. So spend a bit of time, play with it, find the one you like the look of. And that's it. That's how you do it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.